All right, take two of recording. Apparently I can't switch between front and, f and back camera on my phone at the same time. So anyway, I'm all set up here and I've got my workbench ready to be uh, ready to start on. And these are the saw horses I made in the apartment shop, by the way. Still holding up really well. So my thoughts are I might make the uh, leg to workbench top joinery instead of have that through mortise and tenon joint right here still have the same cut to have a tenon on the top of the legs but actually make a half lap cut inside the side of the workbench similar to the, um, the side of the Rubo workbench with the dovetail coming through so the leg is exposed on the outside I'm thinking that a half lap joint from the leg to the table top my workbench top should be sufficient and this is kind of an experiment workbench anyway so I'm going to give it a go. It's going to save me some time and uh, it's still going to be a, a very sizable joint to offer strength. So I'm going to get started on it. It's like uh, I think three hours before the event, something like that, two and a half hours before the event. And uh, I want to get some stuff done before, I, uh, before the people start getting here. But I'm going to be building the workbench. Sean Stone's going to be right here. That's my lathe and grinder. He's going to be turning with Jason Barlow and Whoever else wants to turn, he's going to be doing mallets, and uh, I think Jason brought some stuff to turn as well, like duck calls or bottle openers and such. Um, worth the effort. Woodworking has a really nice setup over here. He just uh, covered it all up last night, but a couple of lathes and uh, a couple of workbenches, and that's going to be a really nice setup. I think he's going to be making a bunch of sp uh, spinner tops, top spinners, uh, spinning tops. Uh, then we've got ox in the shop and wood brew and some other stuff down here and then off to my other side over here we've got let's see let's walk over there and see what we got there's a lot of creators here and um, some of them don't have signs up just yet so I'm trying to figure out who's who made by Laurent and right after that is George Von Driska. George Von Dris Driska. Uh, he's got a CNC and some other stuff he's going to be working with. And then I don't know what's going on with this red top. But we have a wood miser sawmill over there. I think there's going to be several sawmills. So we've got the wood miser. And then um, way on the other side, there's a lot of open space over there for... Uh, oh, wood by right. He's over there as well. Um, but there's going to be a lot of other space over there for, uh, I think... Someone with like 18 wheeler and a front end loader is coming with a huge sawmill. I think I heard a Lucas sawmill was coming. Uh, so that's going to be fun. And then on the other side, see this is a loop that comes around. Other side we got Braxton and the uh, sided display. And then Moy Perez and Ty Moser. This one, who is this one? Uh, I forget who's right there and I don't see a sign. And then we got Spongin, Sean Rubino. And then we have somebody else that I can't remember who's the sign. Uh, oh, Spoonie Creations is, I think, this one. She's going to be doing some spray paint art. Uh, Ashley, she's really cool. Then we got uh, DN Handcrafted, Douglas Niner. And there's two more to the other side of him, and I can't see signs. So this is just who showed up so far. We've got uh, um, some other people showing up later today I believe uh, for Saturday so it's gonna be a lot of people here it's pretty cool so I'm gonna get started on this workbench let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, the half lap joints for the legs to the top versus the mortise and tenon joints it's gonna be huge joints so I think it should be fine <coughs> excuse me but I'm gonna get started and try and drink this coffee without any creamer in it. Black coffee. Ooh. You guys take care and I'll catch you on the next one.